Hi guys, welcome to another Alliance War. This war is going to be a very interesting war. I need to choose who I will fight. And it's going to be Black Widow because we have mini boss, uh, Modo, very annoying guy, and boss Juggernaut, rank 4. So, this fight is going to be an amazing fight. And we're starting on with the first one. And first one, I see a science you linked one. And I decided to go in because. Maybe it's Spider-Man, if it's Spider-Man it will be easy. And then, boom, Electro, and now I panicked. Because I know that Electro has this shock and wow. I need to think fast and I need to improvise this fight to keep myself healthy as possible. And then I realized at this specific moment that the Link node is power 1 lock. And when I have this power 1 lock, this mean I my willpower will start helping me to gain health. So what I'm trying to do here now is stand one power bar and just do the work for me, the willpower, do the great things for me. Okay, but I have another issue. I can't stall this fight because I have two minutes and one mistake with Electro and I'm gone. So what I'm trying to do here is just push him almost till the end and then they just wait. I need to heal up as much as I can before uh, attacking uh, Electro. So this is what I'm trying to do. You see here, I'm doing nothing. Now 79 per tick, it's pretty nice. I'm gaining health. And this Electro really really caught me by surprise, so I'm waiting till I be at the corner and then I will try to finish him out. Now my health is just going back, so the improvisation worked. I managed to recover a lot of health and now I'm at the corner and I decided to regal my level 1. So from less than 50% health I'm back almost full. And this was pretty pretty cool. I like this improvisation very very much and we're moving on to next one and here I see this node and it's usually Hyperion I really don't know why people putting Hyperion here it's recovery node but who knows and here it's a low rated Hyperion so what I will do I'm not going to push uh, push myself over to power bars and then just drain his power, I will go with odd combo and will reduce chances for him to start power gaining uh, the power gain, this will help me to finish fight much quicker as you can see here still no power gain and he's pretty nice with his specials so Hyperion almost down one last power special and he's down and now we're moving on to next fight and this one this fight something will happen guys you will see you will see one slip here and this is again I see the sign sign and I'm thinking it's probably should be spider-man but no it's quake and quake is pretty easy champion to beat uh, my strategy against her is just push her over two power bars it's much easier to evade I'm intercepting here I'm pretty sure that nothing is going to happen. I know I can beat her. Now I just need to bait her level 2. You see, very easy to evade. And another level 1. And the frostbites. And here my party was off. And pay attention, guys. 5 hits. All 5 hits are critical hits. Uh, this was pretty insane, <laughs> I must say. 5 critical hits took huge amount of my health and this made me pretty see sad I don't know how I mis misstand my parry big mistake so I put a small potions on him I had a lot of potions expiring from summoner advancement so I put small potions and here I see mystic champion in this power lock node also and this can help me to regenerate my iceman but I thought it's going to be Durmamo and I decided to go with voodoo and I saw guillotine and I was pretty sad because I could regenerate my iceman almost to full health 
with the same strategy of uh, power lock and willpower and this made me pretty pretty sad I was pretty sure this is going to be Durmamo here because I knew that the magic of this guy on the other node mm, so close so close but if it was Dormammu and I were using uh, Iceman, I probably would lose Iceman due to degeneration. Oh, pretty easy fight and it's over. We still no deaths and we are moving on to the next one. And next one, again, Mutant Champion. Maybe here it's Spider-Man. Let's go with Iceman. Iceman is my dude. I like to play with Iceman, he's pretty good at attacker and here is Miles Morales and this time I decided to try to put a cold snap on him all, all the times just to prevent his evade no matter how many charges he will have and here I'm waiting for his special, very easy to evade level 2, also level 1 is pretty easy and again he evaded and again three hits all three are critical hits and I lost again a lot of health uh, <laughs> this is a not go god mode gameplay guys but wait guys you you just wait wait till the mini boss and boss and you will understand why this video go called god god play gold mode activated so I finished this fight and the next one is a mutant in only two mutants can be on this node are uh, Iceman or Cable because those both are pretty annoying on this node and I decided you know what let's put a 20% boost here I will use it also on Modog mini boss so also let's put 20% health I also used one item here and let's go so it was Iceman pretty annoying one you will see how much uh, health I will lose the cold snap almost everything that I put on him all 6k that I used but now what I'm trying to do I'm trying to bait his level 2, pretty easy to evade, dashback once and then dashback again and the funny thing, it always makes me laugh that Iceman is not frostbite immune and also not a cold snap immune so this is pretty funny to see and now also good thing, if you will push Iceman over to power bars and if you will activate his to level 2, it will break his ice armor and now I'm in, the, I'm in danger spot, he activated his level 3 and I will have a cold snap on me and cold snap as you know guys can do a lot of damage I need to do my best, I need to finish 5%, 4% and I did it, 4% almost dead but no so now guys subscribe and you will see an amazing fight, amazing fights first one is Modok it's not rank 4 Modok, it's rank 3 Modok but with very high signature level and pretty high PI and I'm bringing Black Widow for this fight I still have boost on and uh, let's go, let's go guys so this is Modok after a fix uh, you have different strategies against him first one, you can play safe you can bait uh, heavy here like what I'm trying to do here you can intercept and this is what I'm going to do most most of the fight and here he got his armor and after he getting his armor shield uh, he usually can attack you or, or even activate special because I think it's still a bug and there is nothing you can do and now let's go let's go Modok activate your special and here I don't know how he managed to break my block and now I have only 5% health 5% guys will I be able to beat him will I be able to beat this annoying Modok so 5% is not much 
I can't even block here. So I need to do an intercept as much as I can. I activated the analyzer within and 5% still. Modok losing health. I'm playing very safe and trying to be as smart as I can here. Another great intercept. 31%. 23%. Come on, Black Widow. Come on, at this moment. <laughs> my hands <laughs> getting sweaty because it's, it's a lot of pressure, guys. You have only 5%. And here now 3%. So each hit probably also have this Assassin Mastery and... 7%, 7%, 5%, no, he's still alive, he's still alive, come on, 3%, 1%, boom, this was, I think, this was my best fight, no kills, Black Widow, wow, so now we're moving on, Trunk 4 Juggernaut, and for the first time, I decided to try something, I decided to put this invulnerability boost, so you will have 3 hits without getting damage. So if I'll push him or 3 power bars, maybe it will save me. But <laughs> it was worthless to put those 3 buffs, uh, do, do this buff on me, you will see why. So I tried to decide what best strategy against him this fight. And I don't know how his level 1 reached me, so I lose, lost 1 point here. I'm trying to bait his heavies and at this point I decided to power burn him so now I will try to do as much intercepts as I can you see here and he managed to cut me and I decided to activate my special let's just uh, get rid of three power bars because I need to poison him I need to power drain him I need to do a lot of stuff on this very very buffed juggernaut let's continue voodoo doing an amazing job here will i be able to solo this guy and now pay attention to how many poison 13 poisons guys 14 poison and he's losing a lot of health here and now i'm continue with my intercept and now i saw that my power burn is ended buff and i activated my level 3 Everything just calculated. I'm doing an even combo to do a power drain on him. Pay attention what poison just doing. Poison just taking his health. And the fight is going amazingly well. Now, I have a lot of health and he just below 40%. Will I do it again? Will I be able to beat him? So much pressure guys, you don't understand how much pressure I have at this moment. Just insane amount of pressure. And again, the fight is going pretty good. The intercept, I never did so many intercepts in two fights. And I'm continuing. I'm feeling in real god mode here. Maybe uh, Analyzer will be proud of this fight and previous fight. 48 seconds left and 20% health left. Come on, I need to put another uh, poison on him. And now, I don't know why I didn't put a poison. He managed to hit me and no! Three, three hits! 41,000 health left. I decided no, I will revive my wood. I will put a small potion because I need to finish this guy no matter what. And four hits, four hits, he finished me. He hits like a real tank. But damn, this was my, I think, my best fight against Juggernaut and also against uh, against Modok. Unfortunately, we lost this war. It was very close to war, close war. I think we lost by 300 points. So well done, guys. Pretty fun alliance war. If you like this video, click here to subscribe, like, share, and see you soon, guys, on my next video.